All right, so let's take a closer look at the A1. So starting here on top, we can see we have the spool holder and it does clip on pretty easily, comes off and on. So that's pretty nice. It is all plastic. This part unscrews. And then we got a little guide up here that swivels. And it does look like you can use a PTFE tubing that goes from here to the hot end. And actually that's probably what they want you to do as there's five of them in the package. So one end will go in there and then the other in any of these four holes. So the frame is aluminum with some plastic end caps and it's already pre-built all together so it's very sturdy and rigid. So let's go to the hot end next as it's very interesting. We have this main plug that comes out of it and it actually goes over here to this little junction box. And then from the junction box, we got a main cable that goes down under. So we got our pretty cool design here. It's like a cutout. You can see the motor back there. Here we have the filament cutter. And that actually goes to this side and automatically cuts the filament, which is pretty cool that it's all mechanical. On the other side here, we pretty much have the same look. We do have a small little fan down here. There is a bolt or screw right here that looks like is the tensioner for the extruder release arm. So here we have an adapter that has four inputs and we're just using one for now. And it does say AMS on it, multi-material system. It actually does push down. Now here it gets even more interesting. So this is like an indicator here of flow. This front plate here actually comes off. If you just kind of squeeze the bottom and pull it out, it clips out and it's got like a little dome window. Here inside we can see the little flow wheel. And here it kind of shows us how to remove the key brake with the nozzle. So you got to remove the silicone sock first. And the easiest way to do that is just kind of pull it on the side and it comes off. And here you guys can see how the nozzle and the heat brake here connects. It is spring loaded with a clip. You just kind of open the clip and then you can pull out the whole nozzle. There we go. And that's what the nozzle looks like. Definitely unique, but should be quite easy to change if you do want to change your diameters or just the nozzle itself. It's quite simple and yeah, very interesting and pretty unique how it's all engineered here. So let's clip it back on. There we go. And then the sock will just slide over. You just gotta make sure you put it all the way in so it goes all the way around. And we can see underneath how it all sits in our fan shroud here with the exhaust ports next to it. And then we actually have a little bamboo logo underneath. So let's go ahead and put this cover back on. Simply just put in the top first and then click the bottom in. So we are riding on a linear rail on the X axis here. And if we go to this side, we can see here we have the little purge chute and the way this works is the nozzle goes this way and then it hits that little switch there that slides the little door here that way and so what happens is if the, when the nozzle gets here the door becomes on the other side of the nozzle and so it purges and then when it's done it's that way and so the purge just gets kicked off and dropped here on the ground so yeah quite unique and Pretty awesome how it's all mechanical. There's nothing electronic here, which is awesome. Very cleverly designed on this and also the cutter here. Now on this side, we also have some pretty cool stuff, which is a light here. And then we have a camera and the camera has the diffuser on it. And so this can just kind of swipe over to the other side and diffuse the light more. Or you can cover up the camera so it doesn't see anything, depending on what you want to do. So let's go ahead and uncover that because we want to use the camera. It's kind of cool that they give you that option. There is a little tiny hole right underneath there, if you guys can see. And I'm wondering if that's a microphone or not. So again, this is the junction box. The main wire comes in and then it just comes out here. So the wiring is very minimal. It's just one here and one here. So going down, we can see our bill plate and it does come with the PI textured sheet. It is coated on both sides, which is great. This does appear to look the same as the more higher end printers like the P1P and the X1, which is nice to see that you can interchange them. And also what's great is we have the 256 by 256 by 256 millimeters squared printing volume. Very generous for this pretty compact printer. So we do have the aluminum bed. You can see the magnets what magnetizes the bill plate. Towards the back, we have like this little clean out brush. It's kind of like a hard rubber. So we do have little bump stops for the bill plate to butt against. Here we have a little note that says to leave enough room for this thing to travel. But let's go back to the bump stops because we have something pretty unique here for the back is it looks like there's a couple pieces of connectors there or appears to be maybe, but in any case, this thing just butts towards the back 
and then you lay it down and it should be perfect every time so we are writing on rails on the bottom but you can't see them because there's a cover here and to take it off you just simply unclick it from the back and then pull it out and it's quite a large piece that goes all the way across and here we can see a lot better of what we got under here and this is one large rail we got a large belt all the green little circles is where you put the bolts in to assemble it and there's our y-axis motor if we go to the other side here to the front you guys can kind of see that the rails that it rides on are actually rods it is a metal bearing under there riding on a rod so and very well designed for this budget friendly a1 and here we have a little door that pops off and you can get to the adjustment for the idler here which is very wide you guys can see and if i roll it back and forth it's pretty much perfectly straight so let's put this back i will put the plastic under trim back which just clips on so here we can also see some pictures and it kind of explains how the tool head works pull the cover off also the camera and the light for the lens cover and also reminding you to leave enough room for the bed to travel all the way back which doesn't really go back too much but there is a wire that kind of sticks out going to the front you can see we have a little sd card here and it does say cold swappable underneath so meaning the printer needs to be turned off in order to pull this thing in and out and it is a 32 gig card and here we have a really cool looking screen that actually swivels away and kind of gets more compact and it's a really nice clean design feels really good the screen's a decent size too for this medium printer so let's take off the protector here and yeah we'll see how nice it is but i do love the, how it swivels away which you can do that if you need to the only thing i would say is that it is a little bit offset or if you guys can see it's kind of leaning towards this way so it's not completely flat not a big deal just a little thing i noticed in here it also doesn't sit flat it's kind of like a little bit on an angle but overall pretty cool so here i noticed we got maybe an led light or some sort or indicator it looks like with some kind of light in there so right behind the screen here underneath we got some venting this is where our main wire comes out very nice little end caps here and yeah very clean looking printer even under the bed you can't really see much it's just all kind of finished look and the other side is the same way just got some venting here and very nice clean look and flipping around to the back we can see a little better how the x-axis is connected on each side to a lead screw so it does have two lead screws but i believe it's run by one motor and you can kind of see that underneath we'll look at it in a second and going to the very bottom here we can see our cable that goes to the bed it is strained relieved very nice connection here to the back and this is our input power it is fused with an on and off switch and to the other side, we have two plugs here, and this is going to be for the AMS, the multi-material system. And that's pretty much it. It's quite clean here, even in the back. So we've laid the printer on its side so we can see a little better underneath. So this piece here connects to this, which is the base. You can see this main wire. We have a USB plug there, and then three more wires plug, and one of them goes through here to the Z motor, which is right here. And you guys can see there's a belt. And I believe this belt runs all around here and then back to here so we have one motor that runs two lead screws very clean under here also we got hard rubber feet and then we got very soft rubber feet on the four corners so yeah and some venting here and a manufacturing label there again very cleanly designed and a beautiful printer and very well made